Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel that covers altcoins and trade opportunities. Last week we covered NEO and it has since blasted off to some of the targets that I mentioned in the previous video. I have taken most of my profits off to look for new opportunities. Opportunities like REN. So let's get right into the charts and see what it has to say. So REN has been making some pretty steady gains ever since the beginning of the year. It hasn't really been affected that much by the coronavirus. Sure, we have this crash on March 13th from when uh, Bitcoin dropped around 55%. But for the most part, it's been able to hold some gains and providing some nice structure along with it. And it's been constantly making higher lows. So we can see we dipped around here on March 13th. That's fine, most of the market took a hit. And here once more when Bitcoin was pushing towards 10K. Once Bitcoin finally corrected, it gave the BTC pairs a chance to put some green in on the charts. So that's what we're seeing over here, a really strong reaction from Bitcoin's correction and we're currently pushing. We've already broken the top over here, a really good sign just by a little bit so I wouldn't put too much weight on that, but it is a good sign knowing that there are buyers still interested in rent at these levels. Now, if you're like me and didn't catch rent down here because the market was too red to be interested in and you feel like you've missed the boat, I don't think that's the case. I'm currently looking for a position in on REN and I'm gonna be dissecting the chart right here in front of you guys. So let's see what we've got here. So right away, I can notice from the day chart that we've got some kind of a trend going, right? You guys can see we did break it a little bit, but that's common in crypto because of the volatility. So I wouldn't put too much weight on it simply because we came smashing right back to the upside and putting in some pretty good candles. We even have an increased amount of volume over here. Nothing to write home about, but it's pretty good. So with that being said, is rent going to take off and make higher highs here? It is always a possibility, especially with crypto. But more times than not, I do expect a correction. Now the question is, where can we expect this correction to go down to? Because if we dive into the four hour right now, we can see that the buyers came in right around this 750 sat range. We actually bounced off there twice and right over here would have not been a bad entry. Now I was watching rent around this area yesterday and did not decide to buy any simply because I was waiting for a retrace to go deeper. Now that was a rookie mistake from my part. I should have at least grabbed me a bag over here. Maybe not my full position, but at least half of it in case something like this happened. Now with that being said, I don't think it's far fetched for us to head back down to this trend line. Maybe not exactly to it, but somewhere around 755 sats because we can see again on the day chart that would bring us back to the blue moving average, I believe, 755. Not quite, a little bit lower. So somewhere in this area, I'm not trying to get it exactly right. That would be the area. Now, I would be worried if we happen to make another lower low over here. I don't want to see Ren dive below here because as we broke this structure, I was ready to hang my hat up on Ren. I thought we were going to start heading and making lower lows. But because of the price action that popped up here, I have a little bit more hope when it comes to pushing these levels a little bit higher to get some nice profit. Now, here's another way of looking at the run price action. You guys can see we had some kind of a triangle over here and we finally broke out of it. So another way to look at this triangle is that we could possibly come back to the outer side of this triangle over here. We, we, we don't necessarily need to dr uh, drop back in here. So that could be an area of interest. And again, I wouldn't be putting my whole position in here simply because I could be wrong and it could be going lower and I don't want to have a lump sum of my position just being bought up over here. So I want to have multiple levels in which I can buy at and that would be around this area, the 382 fib and once more at the 618 fib and that's pretty much how I would play this. I wouldn't want to see Ren dive below 660 once more because then I would start to think that this move may potentially not happen. Now, one thing to note about Ren is that we need to think about what could be the possible causes for Ren heading back down here. Well, what I've noticed is if Bitcoin starts pushing towards the upside, we're going to see some red come in. Over here on the right hand side, you guys can see when Bitcoin began pushing up on this side, Ren finally got some red in on it. So I can imagine that Bitcoin might push up a little bit higher near the 9,000, say 250 or 450 levels. And with that push, we should see Ren fall back down. So that would create the first entry that I'm looking for. And if it pushes higher to create some FOMO, then we should go lower. Now, if Bitcoin pushes even higher up, I can see Ren breaking this structure and actually heading towards the downside, invalidating this bullish move. So for the most part, I don't think Bitcoin's actually going to be heading higher. Um, I'm looking for some kind of structure on Bitcoin to confirm that we're going down and it hasn't printed yet. So it's a little too early to say, but 
in the coming weeks I should be able to tell and clarify a little bit more. But as for now, that's pretty much the game plan for Ren and what I expect to see in the coming weeks, especially if Bitcoin decides to move up, which right now it looks like the buyers are coming in. You guys can see the wicks. There is definitely interest around these levels. So let's address the next part of this equation because there's the entry part of the strategy and there's also the exit. So where could Ren go if I decided to buy a position in these areas? Well, I'm going to keep this pretty simple. You guys can see I've got my fib retracement on the chart and we had a sell off around at the 382. You guys can see that it's not exactly a hit, but that's fine. It's close enough. I'm not trying to get these things exact. And then we can see it happen again on the 618 fib. And that's around the thousand sat area psychological number. So pretty nice reaction off of there. Now that we're pushing back up, I do expect that if we're going to break this level, we have a couple of spots and I have some other confirmation to go with the fibs. We can see here back in the past, we had a sell off around this area, a pretty big one. We had around a 50% sell off. So I do expect some reaction around the 1116 area or 1162 area. So that would, that would be around a 40% move from my first entry and an even bigger move from my second entry. Now that's pretty nice trade. If we can get that on Ren, we've already made a 34% move if you got it from the bottom. Usually what I've noticed with these moves is they usually take time to play out. Even over here, you can see we traded sideways for around 10 days before we took off. Over here, we were down here for almost a day. So again, it's going to take patience. Um, I'm not a big fan of buying green candles because that's just FOMO. And in the past, FOMO hasn't worked out too well for me. I usually tend to get burnt, so I've learned to be a little patient with these moves. So great, we got our first target around 117, around this area. The next area is going to be at the top. That's a pretty obvious target over there. So again, these moves are pretty nice and generous, 72%. Now, there's always a chance that we break the top. And in that case, it's kind of a guessing game right now. I'm going to have to wait and see how this move develops to get a better handle as to where this move might go. So as for now, those are my two targets as to where I think Ren might go. Of course, things might play out a little differently than what I've shown here on the chart. That's just part of trading. Overall, I do think Bitcoin is going to be pushing higher, so we'll get that retrace on Ren. And if not, that's fine. There's plenty of other opportunities out there. Now, if you guys would like to learn how to do what I do, I have created a free course that you guys can sign up for. It's a two-part video, almost an hour worth of content. It includes fundamental but very crucial strategies for success. So if you guys are interested in that, go ahead and click on the link below. It's completely free. All you got to do is sign up for the course. As for now, though, that is pretty much it for the video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. It helps my channel out a ton and gets me motivated to pump up content like this every week. So with that being said, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Happy trading out there and stay safe.